I am here with the third video and in this we would be reading about the All India Quota 50% seats. So there will be, as discussed in the previous videos, there will be four All India Quota rounds, one, two, three, and then the stray round. So these are the four rounds and uh, all those who have qualified can participate. Okay, and it is said that eligible candidates may download the rank letter, your result from NB website. Cut off rank of eligible candidates will also be available. Uh, now, uh, open seat domicile free includes 50% All India Quota seats, 50% seats of BHU, AMU and other uh, All India Quota seats of DUN Central Universities which include VMMC that is Safdarjang, SJH, AVB, VIMS, RML and ESIC, Basedar, Rapur. Well, this is in Delhi only, ESIC. Okay, and then the 10% of the DNB seats. So, this is uh, what is included in this All India Counseling. Now, 3.1 is all about the reservation policy. Reservation, of, uh, reservation policy of the central government of NEET PG is as follows. 20 um, SC ke liye it's 15%, 7.5 for ST. OBC non-creamulaire as per the central OBC list. You must have a central OBC certificate. You uh, get 27%. And EWS, another one very advantageous thing now is which anybody can avail even the general category people who have income and other criteria below the level can make an EWS certificate and then we have the PWD which is the physically handicapped we have again 5% seats reservation of the seats under PWD category is 5% in all India quota and the 21 benchmark disabilities as envisaged under the regulations of right of person with disability act of 2016 as per norms but you have to see the annexure one and you just have to produce the same documents mentioned uh, it will come later okay candidates who want to avail five percent this pwd reservation uh, should also obtain the disability certificate as per the annexure two okay so just see that Iske alawa, any other certificates would not be accepted. Candidates that declared qualified or eligible for All India Quota PG seat only will be eligible for online allotment process for All India Quota seats, which is conducted by MCC. And uh, um, for state quota, private medical and dental colleges seat, the candidates are required to contact the appropriate state government admission. Okay, MCC will conduct only the All India Quota wala. Roaster. The 3200 point roster on 50% All India Quota seat shall be applied by MCC of DGHS or Ministry of Health as per the reservation policy. That's nothing important. Eligibility, the candidate should have qualified NEET PG and uh, it's domicile free so nothing else is needed. The conversion of seats will be carried out during online third round. The said conversion will be done only when the eligible candidate belonging to the said category have exhausted. So how would we uh, this? If uh, the, the PWD, the handicap category, is not found in all, any of these, then they would be converted to their respective uh, non-PVD seats. And ST will be converted to SC. ST, SC will be converted to UR. EWS will be converted to UR. Okay. Okay. Then um, we have the chapter 4, which is mostly about deemed university. I will make a separate video uh, on this. So, for now on, uh, let's move ahead and in the next video i will be discussing full detail about the deemed uh, university uh, a small part about armed forces medical certificate uh, services that is fmc afms or fmc the candidates who desire to participate in afms counseling will be required to register on the mcc portal and may opt for afms seat the list of registered candidates will be sent to afms authorities for conducting the counseling at their own end as per the rules and regulation of fms Malab, you have to register on mcc and then this mcc will send the list to fmc and now then they will conduct the uh, counseling on their own the role of mcc is limited to registration and willingness of the candidate only mcc shall not be responsible for any allotment made by or on behalf of fms authorities 
the candidates must verify the eligibility conditions especially the medical eligibility and age conditions from fms website before applying the fms counseling there have been instances of cancellation of admission due to non fulfillment of medical eligibility uh, conditions so be sure about reading this medical eligibility and there are a lot of criteria so be sure about it mcc will not entertain any query regarding fms counseling because it's totally independent it's their call and then uh, the candidates must verify the eligibility conditions well before from the fms website before applying for fms counseling mcc will not entertain any grievances all right now there's something about these central university seats central university seats may you know all these delhi colleges lhmc uh, ucms mamc amu bhu and other vmmc rml sic uh, basada rapur i don't know what it's just sic delhi mein hai ye so all these uh, ip university kota and all these are like central universities come under central university and also cip ranchi and lokopriya bolodoi in assam so inka kya hota hai 50% are all india quota seats in these ones which i mentioned earlier and 50% are institutional seats means reserved for the candidates who've done mbbs from those medical colleges but cip ranchi and this assam college 100% seats are central university means 100% are all india quota seats theek hai now there will be again same four round and all the candidates who have been qualified um, will be eligible for the 50% all india quota seats here and 100% here now see the counseling for 50% all india quota is domicile free the eligibility conditions of internal quota are given by the college institute ncc has no role to play in determining the eligibility condition for internal quota the candidates are requested to go through eligibility conditions beforehand before they apply in the internal quotas If any candidate at any stage of counselling process is found to have furnished an incorrect information, his candidature shall be cancelled for further rounds of the counselling, and the security de uh, deposit shall be fortified. So just check if if you've done MBBS from these colleges, make sure that before applying in the quota seats, you make sure that you are eligible. You're still eligible, okay? So make sure, otherwise your candidature will be cancelled and you cannot participate even in the further rounds. so we we'll be very sure and the, for the people who are not from these quotas please do not fill these quotas uh, uh, if there is an option in the uh, apply it for general one only okay then reservation seats is 5% in central university again the same candidates who avail this have to produce a disability certificate from annexure to just see it uh, the conversion of the seats will again be in the similar manner as mentioned before now uh, a bit about delhi university um there is a lot of detail in this and i would discuss the delhi university again in a separate video which would be coming next so the reservation policy matlab it's more or less similar i will read it in another one same for amu also i'll discuss these individual ones in different <coughs> video uh dnb also i'll make a separate video for dnb yeah uh, so now in this video we'll be discussing about the registration basic registration instruction for filling online application form so let's begin now the registration candidates are informed that the email and the mobile they provide an online application form uh, would be used for registration the said fields will be pre populated okay that means that whatever uh, you filled during the application the registration form initially wahi auto fill ho jayega and all the information uh, will be sent by mcc through email and sms on registered mobile number only any complaint with regards to change the registered mobile number or email shall not be entertained be very very careful i mean like this is serious uh, you should they are writing this but i think they do take out ways but still be very careful email or mobile dono theek theek dalo candidates are advised to use laptop or computer along with latest registered version of chrome internet explorer firefox and good internet connection during registration and choice filling you avoid any technical complications fair enough 
please note that registration facility will be available at the beginning of first round, second round, third round, stray vacancy. Under no circumstances, any request for registration shall be entertained after closing of the registration. Okay. The seat allotted candidates will have to upload essential certificates after declaration of the result as per schedule date. It is mandatory for candidates to carry their original documents during physical reporting, institute for confirmation or joining. Kindly refer to the details of counseling scheme as mentioned below before uh, filling the. There is a list of uh, essential certificates which I will, if, there's, if it's uh, shown here, I'll tell you. Otherwise, I'll give a separate uh, list which you must have. Okay, and you have to upload it online. Mein. Now, let's see. Huh, we'll read only ki round one ka abhi kya kya scene hai. Main counseling registration, which includes payment of non refundable registration fees and a refundable security deposit to be refunded only in account from which payment has been made. Okay, so security deposit pay karna hai aur ek fee pay karni hai. Exercising of the choice filling and locking of the choices hogi fir. Tum pehle uske baad fir seat allotment ka result aa jayega. Take an announcement of the result. Uske baad tum kya karna hai? Essential documents jo hai wo upload karna hai MCC ki website par. Uske baad tumko physical reporting karna hai with the original documents. Us college mein jo tumhe allot hua hai. Candidates who have been allotted a seat in round 1 can opt for free exit and can directly participate in round 2. I mean, round 1, you have filled all the college, then you have filled all the college, so you don't need it. You can opt for free exit, that I am not coming. And you can directly participate in round 2, no problem. But candidates who have allotted a seat in round 1 can opt for willingness to upgrade. I mean, it all, it's not only that you can go to free, you don't have anything to do, you don't have to go to college, you don't have to show your documents. And free exit ले लिया या फिर you go there you join the college and still upgrade from round one to round two only after physical reporting मतलब पहले तुमको क्या करना पड़ेगा वो college round one में तुम्हें allot हुआ you have to go there you have to join the college and then register again in round two and for upgradation that will only happen if once you have to go to the round one allotted college and join it complete the admission details and then you can opt for upgradation otherwise take free exit and join the round two if a registered candidate is not allotted a seat in round one he can still participate in round two directly without fresh registration candidate willing to upgrade from round one to round two have to report at the allotted institute with original documents of round one and complete the admission formalities during completion the admission formalities if a candidate wishes to upgrade then he shall has to give willingness for upgradation in the कॉलेज कॉलेज में बोलना पड़ेगा दैट आई वांट टू अपग्रेड माय सीट ओके एमसीसी ऑफ डीजीएचएस विल शेयर द डेटा ऑफ जॉइन कैंडिडेट्स इन राउंड वन राउंड टू राउंड थ्री काउंसलिंग विद ऑल द पार्टिसिपेटिंग स्टेट्स सिमिलरली द पार्टिसिपेटिंग स्टेट्स विल आल्सो शेयर द डेटा ऑफ जॉइंट कैंडिडेट्स तो स्टेट के साथ कम्युनिकेशन बना रहेगा दिस इज वॉट देर सेंग मतलब सीट ब्लॉकिंग अवॉइड करने के लिए है ये बट आई डोंट नो वेदर इट विल वर्क और नॉट now this is about round two. We'll read it later. Abhi we'll only reading um, uh, what is the basic thing that we must know abhi ke liye. So counselling stages wahi clear hai. I have already told you round one, then round two, then round three, and then the stray round. Now result and admission, and then the essential document list here. It has been mentioned here. <clears throat> the counselling for NEET PG is conducted by MCC based on the result of qualified candidates. Whole counselling process is completely automated without manual intervention. MCC uploads the provisional results initially in every round for verification of the candidate. Based of Achha, MCC uploads a provisional result initially in every round for verification of the candidates, college, institute based on their choices, merit and eligibility. They will also be given an opportunity to reach out to MCC if there is any discrepancy in the result. If no discrepancy is found or if discrepancy is rectified, then the final result is uploaded on the MCC website. The provisional result is only indicative in nature and is subject to change. It may not be utilized for any legal purpose. The candidates are advised not to proceed for booking tickets after declaration of the provisional results they should wait for the final allotment letter to be issued by MCC DGS 
तो मतलब प्रीवियसली दिस मैडम हैपन ना प्रोविजनल देख के लोगों ने सीट वीट बुक कर लिए टिकट्स बुक कर लिए एंड देन दे मस्ट हैव क्लेम्ड इट समथिंग कि यू डिस डस तो एम सी सी इज क्लियरली मैंशन सी डो नॉट बुक टिकट्स बाई सींग द प्रोविजनल रिजल्ट इट माई चेंज इट मे रिमेंड सेम इट मे चेंज ऑल्सो सो वेट फॉर द फाइनल अलॉटमेंट लेटर once the candidates are allotted the seat based on their merit choice and and they it will show a provisional result before every round i don't know how if there is any discre- discrepancy they can rectify it iska matlab provisional result acche se check kar lena if you find anything wrong it still it can still get changed once the candidates are allotted a seat based on their merit choice and eligibility in any of the rounds they will be required to download the allotment letter from mcc website if the candidate is satisfied with his or her allotment he and she may approach the allotted institute for completion of the admission formalities within the reporting time schedule however it is clarified that the allotment made by mcc in any of the round is purely provisional subject to physical verification of the documents of the candidate by the allotted college or institute to matlab wo keh rahe even if i have given you an allotment letter you have to go to the college verify your documents and they will tell whether you you are fine or not and allotment letter mil jana is itself not a surety of admission now if the candidate is satisfied with his or her allotment he she may approach the allotted college institute for completing the admission formalities matlab wo to join karna hi padega ya to tum round 1 mein free exit le lo ki bhi nahi jana college mein ya fir us college ko tum le sakte ho to tumhe jana padega usko join karna padega fir tum upgrade karne ke liye bhi kar sakte ho now original documents required at the time of joining देखो तुम अब जब जाओगे उस कॉलेज को ज्वाइन करने के टाइम पे तो कौन कौन से ओरिजिनल डॉक्यूमेंट्स चाहिए देर आर सर्टन डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच आर मैंशन एज एसेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट्स फर्स्ट इज अलॉटमेंट लेटर इश्यूड बाय एमसीसी जो अलॉटमेंट लेटर तुम्हें एमसीसी देगी इसके अलावा क्या है दिस इज एन एसेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट इसके अलावा एडमिट कार्ड ठीक है एडमिट कार्ड तुमको दिखाना है तुमको रिजल्ट या रैंक लेटर जो मिला है वो तुमको दिखाना है तुमको मार्कशीट दिखानी है अपने तीनों चारों प्रोफेशनल ईयर्स की और फिर एक असेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट आ जाता है क्या एम बी बी एस आई एम सॉरी फिर एक आ जाता है हमारा क्या आ जाता है एम बी बी एस पी डी एस डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट या प्रोविजनल सर्टिफिकेट प्रोविजनल जो सर्टिफिकेट या डिग्री है या फिर ओरिजिनल अगर हमारे पैसे तो डिग्री वो नहीं तो फिर प्रोविजनल भी चल जाएगा बट दिस इज़ एन असेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट देन आई सी सी होना चाहिए तुम्हारे पास जिसमें थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च तक ख़त्म होनी चाहिए बट द डेट इज़ इंक्रीज नाउ इट विल बी चेंज आई थिंक नेक्स्ट एसेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट इज परमानेंट या प्रोविजनल रजिस्ट्रेशन इशूड बाई एन एम सी प्रोविजनल रजिस्ट्रेशन इज एक्सेप्टेबल ओनली इन केस वेर कैंडिडेट इज़ अंडर गोइंग इंटर्नशिप और लाइकली टू कम्प्लीट द सेम बिफोर थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च ऑफ दैट ईयर मतलब तुमको क्या करना है ना बिफोर मान लो इफ़ यू स्टिल अंडर गोइंग इंटर्नशिप टिल ऑगस्ट इज द डेट So till August, if you're still undergoing internship, yeah, you've just completed your internship, then you can have the provision, ah, uh, perm provisional registration. Otherwise, you have to show there your permanent registration. Then high school, yeah, higher secondary certificate, yeah, birth certificate as a proof of date of birth. So this is very very important. Birth certificate be can also be used. ठीक है. So this is also an uh, essential document. Now, candidate allotted seat must carry one of the following identification proof. ID proof, तो हमारे पास होना चाहिए. You can use uh, anything, PAN card, driver driving license, voter ID, passport, or na Aadhaar card. Everybody, I think, has. The candidate should also bring the following certificates if applicable. If you are SC, ST, it's an essential document. You have to bring it by. सर्टिफाइड डॉक्यूमेंट एंड इट शुड भी यू नो कम्पिटेंट अथॉरिटी एंड इंग्लिश और हिंदी लैंग्वेज में उसको कन्वर्ट करवा के लाना है ई डब्ल्यू एस एज पर द सेंट्रल नॉर्म्स ओ बी सी सर्टिफिकेट इशूड बाई कम्पिटेंट अथॉरिटी द सब कास्ट शुड टैली विद द सेंट्रल लिस्ट ऑफ ओ बी सी ओ बी सी कैंडिडेट्स शुड नॉट बिलोंग टू क्रीमी लेयर ओ बी सी सर्टिफिकेट मस्ट बी इन फॉर्मेट एज मैंशन इन द प्रोस्पेक्टिस द ट्रांसलेटेड सर्टिफिकेट मस्ट भी सर्टिफाइड बाई गेजेटेड ऑफिसर इट इज़ एन असेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट वी विल सी दीज डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन गिवन इन द लोअर बॉटम पार्ट ऑफ द पी डी एफ सो यू जस्ट गो थ्रू इट एंड इट शुड बी अकॉर्डिंगली दैट सेम गोज फॉर द डिसेबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी श्योर and physical verification uh, of the document will be done by respective college authorities and mcc 
uh, has no MCC has no role to play in this. However, it is once again clarified that the allotment made by MCC in any of the round is probably provisional and subject to physical verification. Also, information regarding stipend, fee structure, course duration, bond, rendering service. Ye sare ka sara details is your responsibility. It, uh, MCC is taking no responsibility of this. Candidates are advised to visit the college website, talk to college before filling. Now the counselling process may certain questions that have been frequently asked. The first one being round one, round two, round three, round four, Malawi. round four is straight. First question, when will our online allotment process for this year start? Online allotment process will start as per the counselling schedule which is already mentioned. You can see the schedule. Do I have to report to any counselling centre for registration or choice? No, it's online. What information do I require for online registration? Please note that you will be asked to fill some of the information. We are not showing it here for security reasons that you have uh, given in your application form, admit card during online registration provided by examination. Therefore, keep a copy of your application form, admit card ready. Application form jo tumne bhara hua, admit card ready for reference rakho. Why sab details tumne dobara bhani hogi ya verify karni hogi. These documents may be retained as they may require may be required till you complete your PG course. How do I get password for logging in? During the process of online registration, you will generate your own password. Candidates are advised to keep the password that they have created confidential. Password is very important for participating in the online allotment process. Sharing of password may lead to even an exclusion of genuine candidate from online allotment. It's like, obviously, why will you share your password? How much time will I be given to join the allotted college? This is a common question. Candidates who are allotted seed will be required to join the college within the stipulated time from date of allotment as mentioned in the counseling schedule. However, candidates are advised to join as early as possible and not wait for the last day due to different schedule of holiday, working hours in various medical and dental colleges. Also keeping in the view that we have to furnish information about joining, non-joining stay uh, of the candidates. In some college, it may take two to three days time for completion of the admission formality. So, go as soon as possible but this is i think wrong because result should be declared thoda or pehle and time should be given for joining because some people may get colleges really very far off or there are a lot of things but still okay what documents are required at the time of joining so you have this essential list and this is very very important actually essential udhar mein it was mentioned wrong this is the correct uh, thing that you must have you must have these so i am marking these this is very very important uh, all right the first the first one is the allotment letter that you would be given by mcc second is the admit card which you have taken to your center also exam center that then result your yeah, rank letter issued by ng again an essential document then high school a uh, higher secondary your yeah, birth certificate as proof of date of birth the proof of date of birth may you can also use birth certificates usually they ask for 10th and 12th mark sheet only mark sheet of mbbs one two three professional examination yes i have that uh, you have that you must have that then mbbs yeah bds ka uh, we are talking about mbbs ka degree certificate yeah, provisional certificate this is also an essential provisional can also work then internship completion certificate from head of institution that candidate shall complete the internship by 31st March 31st March change again but it's may not change but it's changed now August tak hai, I think there's some date just check then permanent your provisional registration take a permanent your provisional registration certificate issued by MCI so you must have this registration and provisional cup acceptable hai ki jo date hai Ustak, you must complete your internship within that stipulated date. 31st March has been changed. Candidate allotted seat must carry one of the ID proof. Koi bhi, PAN, driving, voter ID, passport, Aadhaar card, any of these is an essential document. Candidate should also bring the following certificates if applicable. What certificates? The category certificates. In each case, uh, read it and for this EWS and mainly OBC remember that it should be in the format which is mentioned in the prospectus <coughs> and it should be signed certified by a gazetted officer and they, you should not belong to creamy layer and subcast should be according to the central list not the state list 
ठीक है कैंडिडेट्स विदाउट ओरिजिनल सर्टिफिकेट्स या डॉक्यूमेंट्स शेल नॉट बी अलाउड टू टेक एडमिशन इन लॉट एड मेडिकल कॉलेजेस कैंडिडेट हुव डिपॉजिटेड देयर ओरिजिनल डॉक्यूमेंट्स विद एनी अदर इंस्टीट्यूट एंड कम फॉर एडमिशन विद अ सर्टिफिकेट अच्छा नाउ सी कैंडिडेट्स दिस इज समथिंग वर्थ टॉकिंग अबाउट कैंडिडेट्स विदाउट ओरिजिनल सर्टिफिकेट या डॉक्यूमेंट शेल नॉट बी अलाउड टू टेक एडमिशन बट कैंडिडेट्स हुव डिपॉजिटेड देर ओरिजिनल डॉक्यूमेंट्स विद एनी अदर इंस्टीट्यूट कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी एंड कम फॉर एडमिशन विद अ सर्टिफिकेट सर्टिफिकेट स्टेटिंग दैट देर ओरिजिनल सर्टिफिकेट्स आर डिपॉजिटेड विद द इंस्टीट्यूट एंड द यूनिवर्सिटी शेल नॉट बी अलाउड शेल नॉट बी अलाउड टू टेक एडमिशन इन अलॉटेड कॉलेज दिस इज very strange i don't know if this will change but be aware release your documents if they are stuck somewhere just get them and then go please note that the required documents at the time of admission may vary as per college or institute policy hence the candidate may, may verify the same from the allotted college before reporting <clears throat> so before reporting you must uh, check with the college okay what extra you have to bring but this is like the bare minimum list you have to have this so i'll take a, a screenshot of this and uh, share with you all next we have to next we have to talk about matlab this this list let's let me write here only दिस ओ बी सी या एनी अदर कैटेगरी सर्टिफिकेट्स एस सी एस टी ई डब्ल्यू एस ऑल दीज कैटेगरी सर्टिफिकेट्स दीज आर द एसेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट्स ओके मूविंग अहेड नाउ what are the fee to be paid another important question dekho uh, the following table explains the answer to the question payment of different uh, categories may have different there is there are two things that you have to pay one is the fees one is the security deposit if you belong to an unreserved category your fees is 1000 if you belong to a reserved category like sc st obc pwd you have to pay 500 If you are from unreserved category, your security money is पच्चीस हज़ार If you are from reserved category, your uh, uh, this money would be only टेन थाउजेंड तो ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड या टेन थाउजेंड वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फॉर डीम्ड इट इज़ फाइव थाउजेंड फॉर ईच एंड टू लैक्स फॉर ईच ओके नी एनी एस सी कैंडिडेट ऑप्टिंग फॉर ऑल इंडिया कोटा विल पे अ रजिस्ट्रेशन फीस ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस टेन थाउजेंड any unreserved candidate opting for um, all india quota will pay 10000 sorry this is not 10000 this is 1000 there is a mistake here we will pay yeah <coughs> he will pay 1000 that is the fees and 25000 which is a refundable security deposit Okay, this ten thousand is refundable. Here, this twenty five thousand is refundable. Any candidate opting for deemed university has to pay five thousand plus two lakhs. Two lakhs is refundable. What are the circumstances wherein the refundable security deposit will be fortified? Where a candidate has been allotted a seat in round two or subsequent round and does not report a join to complete the admission process. Security deposit will also be fortified if a admission gets cancelled after allotment due to any reason, like in candidate gives wrong information at time of registration, on the basis of which a seat may be allotted later or cancelled by the admission authority at the time of reporting, failing to produce the required document. Like somebody mm, said that he is an ST and uh, he is unable to produce a certificate now, so he will be, मतलब उसका admission तो मिलेगा नहीं और उसके security deposit भी गया. In case candidate must apply for both All India Quota and Deem, he should pay the fee for both. No, such a candidate has to pay only the higher fee, that is five thousand plus two lakh refundable. All right. What are the instructions regarding OBC, SC, ST, OBJ? The the candidates are advised to see annexures in this information bulletin. In case the candidate fails to produce proper caste certificate, applicable. 
for this 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 is sealed will be cancelled for the reservation of the seats under pwd is five percent and again you have to produce disability certificate as mentioned earlier ठीक है बेंचमार्क स्पेसिफिक डिस्पीड मतलब रीड दिस प्रॉपरली फॉर डिसेबिलिटी इज अ सेपरेट पी डी एफ इंफॉर्मेशन मैंशन ऑन द वेबसाइट गो थ्रू इट एंड जस्ट गेट इट कम्प्लीटली क्लियरली डन एंड देर इज ऑल्सो एन ऑनलाइन वेरीफिकेशन पार्ट डू दैट ऑल्सो नाउ आई हैव ओ बी सी ई डब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफिकेट मस्ट बी ड्यूरिंग one more thing obc certificate uh, ews certificate must be during the financial year as specified in the certificate attached in the annexure of this information brochure means they should be i think it's mentioned uh, they should be after 31 1st of march april and uh, above matlab april and april ke baad ke hone chahiye and then is there any restriction for filling up number of choices or institute no you can fill as many as you want However, choices should be in order of preference. सही बात है However, it is advisable that the participating candidates fill in choices up to total of थर्टी to फोर्टी choices. मतलब थर्टी to फोर्टी choices तो that you should fill because nobody knows what happens. Hmm. Can I have some idea about the seat I am likely to get get uh, at my rank? You can see the previous allotment list. Um, that's okay. Is it necessary to fill up the choice and lock the choice to get seat allotted, or I will be allotted seat automatically from the available seat? After online registration, registration is compulsory to take part in online process. You have to fill the choices in order of preference. Once the choices are filled, it can be modified before locking. During the choice locking period, it is necessary to lock the choices to get a print out of your submitted choice. If candidate does not lock the choice submitted by him, they can get auto logged. Yeah, they will be automatically logged. Uh, at the notified date and time, however, you will be allowed to take a print of your choices after locking, but you will not be permitted to modify. Do not wait till the till the last minute to lock your choices and to take out print out. Please go through your submitted choice before locking. At uh, as once you lock the choices, same cannot be changed or even modified. Okay, mistake in filling choices may result in allotment of a seat which you never wanted. Also, it won't be possible to unlock your choices. to be very 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 careful kuch gadbad mat kar dena ghabrana nahi aaram se karna theek hai and be aware that you do not lock it okay is it necessary to join the allotted medical college in round 1 to get chance to participate in round 2 if a candidate does not report in the allotted institute of round 1 he will be considered as a free exit however candidate who have not joined round 1 be availing the free exit option may participate again in the round 2 after logging in with their earlier registration detail in case such the candidate wants to ensure he retain his round 1 seat and wants to upgrade his allotted seat he should join the round 1 seat giving will give willingness for upgradation however if candidate wants to participate directly in round 2 without retaining the round 1 seat he may not join and do the choice filling of for round 2 and round one has free exit in the above said case he cannot claim round one seat please note that in case you are satisfied with your seat and do not will give willingness to participate for upgradation in round 2 as yes you will not be considered eligible for participating in round 2 for upgradation of your choice so tumko fill karna hai that yes i in further rounds i want to uh, do na they do what i want to upgrade i want to upgrade my seat What is second round of online allotment process? Who are eligible? Round two of online process is a fresh allotment and upgradation, wherein the candidates who have not registered initially during round one can register and participate. Candidates who have joined the college in round one can opt for upgradation. Any candidate who were allotted in round one did not join it can still participate without a fresh registration. Very good. For upgradation, the candidates will have to physically report and join the allotted college of round one. I have made this point thousand times clear, and give willingness for upgradation. Therefore, there will be two categories: uh, candidates eligible for round two C. कौन कौन से? Registered candidate who participated in round two but did not get any seat allotted. Who participated in round one? This is again a mistake. Who participated in round one but did not get any seat in round 
तो वो पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे दूसरा कौन पार्टिसिपेट करेगा रजिस्टर्ड कैंडिडेट्स हुज राउंड वन सीट गॉट कैंसल्ड ड्यूरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट वेरीफिकेशन रिपोर्टिंग हु सिक्योर्ड सीट अंडर रिजर्व कोटा ड्यू टू ड्यू टू चेंज इन कैटेगरी फ्रॉम रिजर्व टू अनरिजर्व फ्रॉम येस टू नो बट आर स्टिल एलिजिबल इन द नेक्स्ट राउंड ऑफ सीट अलॉटमेंट विद चेंज्ड कैटेगरी सब्जेक्ट टू फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ द एलिजिबिलिटी कंडीशन कन्वर्जन एलगोरिथम इज गिवन बिलो ठीक है ना कैंडिडेट्स हु हैव रिपोर्टेड या ज्वाइंड एट अलॉटेड इंस्टीट्यूट ड्यूरिंग द ज्वाइनिंग पीरियड ऑफ अलॉटमेंट एंड सबमिटेड विलिंगनेस फॉर पार्टिसिपेशन इन सेकेंड राउंड अपग्रेडेशन एज येस कैंडिडेट हुव रिपोर्टेड या ज्वाइंड एट अलॉटेड इंस्टीट्यूट ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड एंड देन ऑफ आर अलॉटमेंट एंड सबमिटेड विलिंगनेस फॉर पार्टिसिपेशन इन राउंड ठीक है तो देखो मैं बता दूँ कौन कौन सी कैटेगरी है जो राउंड टू में पार्टिसिपेट कर सकती है या मतलब राउंड टू में कौन कौन पार्टिसिपेट करेगा सबसे पहले तो वो लोग होंगे जिनको राउंड वन में सीट नहीं मिली तो राउंड टू में पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे दूसरे जिनको राउंड वन में सीट मिली वो गए कॉलेज मगर क्योंकि उनके डॉक्यूमेंट्स पूरे नहीं थे उनका कैटेगरी कुछ कैटेगरी और सर्टिफिकेट वो बना नहीं पाए तो वहाँ से वो तो एडमिशन उसमें तो मिलेगा नहीं तो वहाँ से कैंसिल हो गया एडमिशन पर वो राउंड टू में पार्टिसिपेट कर सकते हैं अपनी कैटेगरी को चेंज करके कन्वर्जन एल्गोरिथम क्या है तुम एस से मतलब तुम अगर फिजिकली हैंडीकेप का सर्टिफिकेट नहीं बनवा पाए तुम किसी भी कैटेगरी के हो तुम सेम कैटेगरी में चेंज हो सकते हो मतलब तुम्हें कैटेगरी जैसे अगर तुम ओ बी सी थे तुमने पी डब्ल्यू डी तुम नहीं बना पाए तो तुम उसको ओ में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हो प्लेन ओ में पर यह नहीं है कि ओ बी डाल रखा हो फिर तुम यू में चेंज करो ऐसा नहीं तुम एस सी को एस में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हो एस को यू में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हो ई डब्ल्यू एस को यू में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हो एन आर आई मुस्लिम माइनॉरिटी जैन माइनॉरिटी को यू में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हो पर इसमें ये नहीं दिखा रहा है कि ओ बी सी को यू आर में कन्वर्ट नहीं कर सकते मतलब आई डोंट थिंक ओ बी सी को यू आर में कन्वर्ट नहीं कर सकते हैं विच इज़ वेरी स्ट्रेंज एंड इट्स बैड इट्स अ बैड न्यूज़ इट्स अ बैड न्यूज़ बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट कन्वर्ट यू कैन नॉट इफ यू हैव फिल्ड ओ बी सी तुमने भर दिया है तुम उसको यू आर में कन्वर्ट नहीं कर सकते हो मतलब तुम ओ बी सी रहोगे अब बस दुआ ये मांगो कि तुमको जनरल की सीट अलॉट हो ओ बी सी की सीट अलॉट ही मत हो अलॉट ही ना हो नेक्स्ट राउंड अगर राउंड वन में तुम्हारे साथ ऐसा हो जाए कि तुमको ओ बी सी की सीट अलॉट हुई है एंड यू डू नॉट हैव अ सर्टिफिकेट फॉर ओ बी सी मार्क कॉलेज एंड ब्रांचेस जहाँ पे ओ बी सी की सीट इज़ नॉट अवेलेबल ओनली जनरल का सीट इज़ देयर एंड टेक अ कॉलेज बी वेरी वेरी शार्प अबाउट दिस एंड इफ़ यू नीड एनी हेल्प रिगार्डिंग कैसे करना है क्या करना है आई कैन हेल्प यू आउट राउंड टू में राउंड वन में तो यू डोंट नो यू हैव टू फील एवरी थिंग एंड इट्स बैड आई थिंक प्रोबेबली दे माई चेंज क्योंकि कई लोग ओ बी सी सर्टिफिकेट इस साल का नहीं बनवा पाए होंगे ना दे शुड बी गिवन अ चांस टू चेंज टू यू आर बिकॉज एस सी एस टी ई डब्ल्यू एस सबको मिल रहा है वाई नॉट टू ओ बी सी ओके फिर थर्ड कैटेगरी होगा इफ यू एनी प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग दिस यू कैन जस्ट मैंशन इन द कामेंट बॉक्स आई विल हेल्प यू आउट एंड इफ नीडेड आई कैन मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑल्सो I will I'll tell you tricks to you know make this happen get you a seat in round टू without any problem in a यू आर कैटेगरी बिकॉज ओ बी सी वाले आर एलिजिबल फॉर ओ बी सी सीट्स एंड जनरल सीट्स तुमको जनरल वाली सीट मिल जाएगी इफ़ यू वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू वट आई से इन राउंड टू राउंड थ्री एंड स्ट्री राउंड नाउ कैंडिडेट्स हु एग्जिटेड ड्यूरिंग राउंड वन अवेलिंग फ्री एग्जिट कैन लॉग इन अगैन एंड ठीक है तो तीसरे वाले वो कैंडिडेट थे जिन्होंने राउंड वन में गए कॉलेज मिला ज्वाइन भी कर लिया अपग्रेडेशन के लिए ऑप्ट करा और अब पार्टिसिपेट करें राउंड टू में फोर्थ वाली वो कैटेगरी है जिन्होंने फ्री एग्जिट ले लिया मतलब राउंड वन में कॉलेज मिला पर वो वहाँ गए नहीं दे डिट वेंट देर सो बिकॉज दे डिट वेंट देर दे स्टिल कैन पार्टिसिपेट एंड फिफ्थ कैटेगरी पे हो गई जिन्होंने राउंड वन में भरा ही नहीं था दे वर स्लीपिंग सडनली इन राउंड टू दे केम आ टू नो कि अरे भाई रजिस्ट्रेशन खत्म हो गए हैं तो राउंड टू में ही भर देते हैं तो उन्होंने राउंड टू में भर दिया कूल दिस इज द चेंज दैट यू कैन डू आई थिंक दिस इज वेरी सैड फॉर ओ बी सी कैटेगरी देन डू आई हैव टू फिलअप चॉइसिस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट 
एंड कॉलेज टू पार्टिसिपेट इन सेकेंड राउंड अलाटमेंट प्रोसेस सेपरेटली येस हर राउंड का सेपरेट चॉइस फिलिंग होगा ठीक है ना सी ड्यूरिंग राउंड टू फ्रेश अलाटमेंट विल बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर दोज एलिजिबल कैंडिडेट्स हुड नॉट बी अलॉटेड सी ड्यू टू नॉन अवेलेबिलिटी एंड फॉर कैंडिडेट्स हुई ब्लॉक दिन अगेन इन राउंड टू आफ्टर फ्री एक्सिट नथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट इफ सफिशेंट नंबर ऑफ क्वालिफाइड पी डब्ल्यू डी कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल दैन वट विल हैपन टू पी डब्ल्यू डी सीट्स पी डब्ल्यू डी सीट्स विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू रिस्पेक्टिव कैटेगरी वेरी गुड now if i give consent for upgradation of my choice during round 1 if my choice is upgraded is it necessary to join that college allotted uh, in the second round or in case i change my decision of upgrading can i continue to study in the college allotted through the first round very important question very important kya keh raha hai dekho a person is allotted some college in round 1 let's say he is allotted जी एम सी औरंगाबाद इन राउंड वन ही डिसाइडेड कि राउंड टू में तो पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं सभी लोग करते हैं आई विल ऑल्सो पार्टिसिपेट इन राउंड टू एंड ही गोस फॉर इट एंड फिल्स एंड नाउ इन राउंड टू रिजल्ट ही गेट्स जी एम सी नागपुर नाउ वेन ही इज़ अलॉटेड जी एम सी नागपुर नाउ हिज माइंड चेंज ही से इससे अच्छा तो औरंगाबाद ही है तो मैं यहीं रह लेता हूँ तो वॉट इज दिन दिस कंडीशन वट कैन हैपन इज In case candidate is allotted seat during round one and his choice is upgraded in round two, seat allotted in round one will be automatically cancelled immediately and allotted to somebody else uh, eligible as per merit. Candidate will have to join the college. Yes, seat allotted during second round. If candidate does not join within the stipulated time. His or her refundable security deposit will be fortified. Seat can also be upgraded in the same college by change of category. In such a case, candidate has to take fresh admission in upgraded seat. Oh, this is also strange. You can change also. You can get upgraded seat in the same college also. if you fill it if uh, i give option to participate in round 2 at the at the time of joining from first round allotment but later i change my decision and want to continue and study at already allotted medical college what is the procedure to avoid cancellation in such case candidate need not fill any fresh choices for round 2 and the earlier seat will be reserved सही बात हो गई अब इसमें एक क्वेश्चन ये आता है दैट आई हैव फिल्ड अ चॉइस इन राउंड वन आई हैव गॉट दैट कॉलेज आई हैव जॉइन दैट कॉलेज ऑप्टेड फॉर अपग्रेडेशन फिल्ड इन राउंड टू फ्यू वेरी गुड कॉलेजेस बट आई डिड नॉट गेट एनीथिंग इन राउंड टू तो क्या होगा तो राउंड वन वाली सीट भी और कंटिन्यू होती रहेगी तो ये कई बार लोग क्वेश्चन करते हैं कि जो कॉलेज में हम हैं हमें वो भी बॉटम में डालना चाहिए क्या uh, कहीं हमको ऐसा ना हो कि हमारा कैंसिल हो जाए ऐसा नहीं है दे विल नॉट लीव यू एम टी हैंडेड तो इफ़ यू ऑलरेडी हैव अ कॉलेज यू नीड नॉट डू इट अगेन बिकॉज प्रोबेबली यू मे गेट इट इन अनदर कैटेगरी इन द सेम कॉलेज एंड देन यू हैव टू रिपीट होल एडमिशन प्रोसेस अगैन इट इज़ बैड ओनली टाइम कंज्यूमिंग एन एवरी तो दिस इज़ द केस Now I've forgotten my password that I've created during process of registration. How to retrieve it? To retrieve forgotten password, candidates are advised to remember the password first thing. Also retain their ad- application form, admit card printout till the completion of admission. It is not possible to retrieve su- uh, such password. Candidates are required to enter the. Candidate is required to enter the information that. she has filled at the time of registration then the security question answer thereon to be entered as given in the new uh, candidate registration process the above data submitted by the candidate will be validated uh, according to the database and above entries match then only candidates would be permitted to enter new password and to proceed further in case i have birth certificate caste certificate or other certificate in regional language will it be accepted certificate issued by competent authority should be in hindi or english 
please remember that some of the state insist for certificate in english only so candidates are advised to carry certified copy of english version of the original certificates in caste certificate issued is in other language than english along with original certificate if there is a discrepancy in spelling names of my document and application form what do i do if there is a discrepancy in spelling in document candidate must carry proof of the document belonging to the same person in form of an affidavit yeah undertaking what about the conditions of stipend fee structure course duration bond ye wo so so what is saying that this is not a matlab problem of mcc some seats may be approved permitted but not yet recognized however mcc does not differentiate between recognized and permitted seats okay mcc does not differentiate between permitted and rec recognized and permitted seat and the allotment is made only on mci and mc dci approved seat the allotment made through an online process will be firm and final therefore candidate should well examine these points before opting for a seat in a medical college mcc shall neither be responsible nor entertained acha candidate are advised to visit the website of the college and check the information mcc has no role in fixation of fee structure of participating colleges including deemed university therefore mcc of dghs will not entertain any request or complaint regarding fee structure changing blah blah okay you have that is your problem not mcc's problem how to use registration and choice filling form on website candidate will have to log on to website to get register and fill the choice it is advisable advised that after going through the seat matrix and tentative date may be prepared as may be prepared first as per your preference uh, before you attempt to fill in choices it is advised that after going through the seat matrix a tentative list may be prepared first and then you fill the choices okay then there are certain other if you have difficulty in login you can contact them and use the latest versions if they have difficulty in creating password then avoid using caps lock key instead caps lock use shift keys and this and that these are the conditions uh should be as per the policy uh okay when i try to log in or choice filling it says wrong roll number password this can happen if roll number type is incorrect password is case sensitive you have forgotten something and all this can i modify my choices during choice submission period for counseling yes you can modify add or delete before you lock once you lock it's gone Now the next question is, I have not logged my choices before the specified time, so automatically lock हो जाता है. How can I get a print out of my choices? उसमें option आएगा print का. If I get upgraded during second round, from round one, can I join the college directly? No, you have, will have to get a relieving letter from the earlier institute before you can join the next college. At the time of admission, will my original certificate be retained by the allotted institute? Yes. तुम्हारे document वो हथिया के बैठ जाएंगे. ठीक है टू रिटेन द ओरिजिनल सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ द एडमिटेड इन ऑर्डर टू नॉट द ब्लॉक द सीट प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मल्टीपल एडमिशन बाय वन कैंडिडेट्स एंड रिलीज दम ओनली ऑन अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ द सीट और रेजिग्नेशन बाय कैंडिडेट ओह दैट्स सैड ठीक है तुम्हारे पकड़ के रख लेंगे वो डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड विल नॉट गिव इट टू इन केस सम ऑफ द पी जी सीट्स आर सेंक्शन बाय एम सी आई विल दे बी एडिड इन सीट मैट्रिक्स एज पर द टाइम स्केड्यूल फॉर कंप्लीशन डेटेड ये 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 इंस्टीट्यूट परमिटेड आफ्टर ट्वेंटी एथ फरवरी विल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर एडमिशन आई डोंट नो देर कैन बी एनी चेंजेस न्यू सीट विल बी एडेड बिफोर राउंड वन एंड इन एक्सेप्शनल सर्कमस्टांसिस बिफोर राउंड टू लास्ट डे और इशू ऑफ परमिशन ट्वेंटी एथ फेबररी था विल देयर बी एनी फर्दर राउंड आफ्टर कंप्लीस ऑफ राउंड टू येस राउंड थ्री होगा फिर स्ट्रे होगा वॉट इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर थर्ड राउंड ऑफ काउंसलिंग विच विल बी कंडक्टेड the net vacant seat due to non allotment non joining non reporting ye sab ka ek seat matrix banega uske baad tum wahi choice filling karke usko bhar do who will be eligible for third round who are registering for the first time who has not been allotted any seat in round 1 round 2 who have exit with fortifier in round 2 and can participate in round 3 but with fresh payment of fees theek hai एग्जिट विथ फॉर मतलब तुमको सिक्योरिटी मनी तुम्हारा जब्त कर लिया जाएगा राउंड टू से राउंड थ्री में अगर पार्टिसिपेट करोगे और फिर तुमको फ्रेश फ्री पेमेंट दोबारा करना पड़ेगा 
who will not be eligible for third round candidates who have joined a seat in round 1 or round 2 and state quota seats are not willing to upgrade will not be eligible or do not exit as per scheme what is the schedule for online wo hai on website pe what is permissibility of a student to exercise fresh choice filling fresh choice filling can be done in every round of counseling whether counseling will be conducted for 50% state quota seats of central university also yes 50% seats is it required to confirm domicile status before filling a process no institutional eligibility dekh lo magar domicile ki zarurat nahi hai whether upgradation is allowed from round to second round of counseling to third round yes upgradation is allowed पर पैसे भरने पड़ेंगे वेदर सिक्योरिटी डिपॉजिट विच वॉज सबमिटेड एट द टाइम ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन भी रिफंडेड बैक इन केस द कैंडिडेट इज नॉट अलॉटेड एनी सीट ड्यूरिंग राउंड ऑफ काउंसलिंग येस अगर कुछ भी नहीं मिला है तो वापस हो जाएगा ओके वेदर देर विल बी टू सेपरेट काउंसलिंग फॉर ऑल इंडिया कोटा एंड ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी नहीं कुछ अलग अलग नहीं है दिस इज सेम सिंगल काउंसलिंग हु इज एलिजिबल फॉर स्ट्रे वेकेंड राउंड फ्रेश रजिस्ट्रेशन जिनको कहीं सीट नहीं मिली कहीं ज्वाइन नहीं करा दे आर एलिजिबल हु आर एलिजिबल फॉर एग्जिट विद फोर्टी फिगर फॉर फ्यूचर मतलब कि पैसे देके कौन निकल सकते हैं कैंडिडेट हुज बीन अलॉटेड अ सीट इन राउंड टू एंड फर्दर राउंड बट डू नॉट रिपोर्ट टू द कॉलेज में एग्जिट वेदर एन आर आई कैंडिडेट्स आर एलिजिबल इन पेड सीट गैस वट आर द हेल्पलाइन नंबर हेल्पलाइन नंबर ये है इनको माफ कर लो हाउ मच मनी विल बी डिडक्टेड एज ट्रांजेक्शन फीस या सर्विस फीस बाय द कॉलेज इन केस ऑफ अपग्रेडेशन कैंडिडेट्स आर एडवाइज टू कॉन्टैक्ट द कॉलेज अच्छा कुछ कुछ फीस द कॉलेज विल ऑल्सो कट बिफोर जॉइनिंग द कॉलेज वी नॉट बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रिफंड रिलेटेड इशूज फ्राम द कॉलेज वेरी सैड ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए ना दे शुड नॉट ईट अप मनी ऑफ पीपल I have not registered with MCC during first, second, third round. Now I want to register for three round. Yes, you can. So these are the things. Now this will be the refund related queries, which we will read later on. This is the help desk. Everything about the help desk is mentioned here. The email, the contact numbers, everything. Now see list of disability certificate centers. जहाँ से you can get it are these and only these. Go through it. Disability के लिए ये बनाना है. Uh, SC ST के लिए ये बनाना है. OBC NCL के लिए ऐसा बनाना है. So this is the OBC certificate. Make sure everything is covered. This is the EWS, and that's it. So, see you.